How to Calibrate Structure Sensor 3. The first step is to download the Structure Sensor Calibrator app from the App Store, or make sure that you have the most up-to-date version of the app. When using any apps with the sensor, you want to be sure to open the app first without the sensor connected, and then connect the sensor only when prompted to by the app. This will help prevent any connectivity issues you might run into. Be patient and give the app a few moments to initialize, and you should see the camera view popping up. Now here's an example of a poorly calibrated sensor. As you can see, the depth overlay isn't quite aligned with the object. And when we go to the color view, the color is misaligned as well. So this really looks inaccurate. Here's an example of the same scan, but with a good calibration. So as you can see, the depth overlay does align with the object. Next, we'll go to the color view of the scan. And you can see everything looks normal. Now first, let's do an outdoor calibration. You're going to open the calibrator app and connect your sensor. Once it pulls up, you're just going to click Start Standard Calibration. Now if you have a structure bracket, you can just uh, continue on forward. If you're using a custom bracket, just swipe right and you can enter the values of the bracket there. The sensor is looking for an environment with ambient infrared light, which is why we're doing this outdoors. The infrared and the sunlight should be sufficient enough to make this a smooth process, but if it's too cloudy or dark out, you might not be able to continue. So as you can see, the sunlight meter is filled up. Now the goal here is to find a complex scene that's high in contrast uh, in both scenes. When outdoors, scenes in nature are usually complex enough. You can see how the grass registered really quickly, a high quality scene. The final stage is the refinement where you can manually drag the depth feeds color overlay to match the physical scene. So you have a tutorial here to show you how to do it. Drag the scene right and left until it aligns. Match the color with the physical scene, not the spaces where there is no color. And once you have it done, Tap Save Calibration. The calibration state will save to the sensor and you'll be ready to scan. Now let's start over with an indoor calibration. Much like the outdoor calibration, we're just gonna tap Start Calibration uh, once you pull the app up and connect your sensor. So we'll do that here. When indoors, you may find the sunlight meter not filling up due to lack of ambient infrared light, uh, which prohibits you from moving forward with the calibration. Now to fix this, there are a few things that we can do. You can enable indoor mode with the switch in the bottom corner. This will allow your sensor to take in more infrared light and should make calibrating your sensor indoors a bit easier. Another tip is you can use a halogen or incandescent bulb to provide some IR light onto the scene. So here I have a lamp that has a halogen bulb in it. So I'm turning that on and right away the sunlight meter fills up. I'll turn that off again and you can see the sunlight meter goes down. So if you have an incandescent or halogen bulb that will really help with your indoor calibration. You can also use an infrared flashlight to provide some IR light onto your scene. So I'll show you an example. I have an infrared flashlight here in my hand. As you can see, the sunlight meter is down. Now we'll turn on the flashlight and that meter just fills right up. The next goal is to find a complex high contrast scene that appears clearly on both screens, similar to what we did outdoors. Since complex scenes can be harder to find indoors, we've developed an indoor calibration target to simplify the process. This target's inspired by the Jackson Pollock painting 1, number 31, which really captures the necessary complexities for calibration. Download and print the indoor calibration target using the link in the description. Point the cameras at the target and hold them steady until the process moves on to the next step. The final stage is the refinement, where you manually drag the depth feeds color overlay to match the physical scene, just like we did outdoors. You can start with the tutorial to practice on a simulated scene of the table and chairs. Drag the scene left and right until it matches. You want to match the color with the physical scene, not the spaces where there is no color. Now I always suggest going to an open doorway where you can clearly see two defined depths. You have the door that's close to you and the empty space behind it that's far away. Now when everything's aligned, you can tap Save Calibration. And once the calibration's saved, you're ready to scan. Thanks for watching and visit structure.io to get your Structure Sensor 3 now and to learn more.